We have an exclusive interview with a man who was once President Obama's top choice to overhaul health care, former Senator, uh, Senate Majority Leader Tom Daschle. He took himself out of the running after a controversy over his taxes, a controversy he did not discuss in the interview, but what he did offer our medical editor, Dr. Tim Johnson, his views about health care reform. Since your withdrawal, how closely are you involved with the White House, with President Obama, with your colleagues in the Senate? Well, I'd like to think we're still very close. We talk with some frequency. Uh, they are uh, very involved, of course, on a day-to-day -day basis on Capitol Hill. And uh, to a large extent, I'm still able to talk with uh, my former colleagues as well as uh, those with whom I would have worked uh, at the uh, department. So uh, still quite engaged. How hard is it for you to be sitting somewhat on the sidelines compared to what you would have done? Well, it's hard in some ways. I'm more free now. I'm a little more uh, uh, flexible. So the freedom I have to get around the country and passionately argue for things I believe in rega regarding health reform is a, is a plus. So there are pluses and minuses. We hear constantly now that if health care isn't done this year politically, it's going to be impossible. That is, next year's an election year. Can't be done. It's this year or never, or at least for a long time. You agree? Well, I think that there's unfortunately a good deal of, uh, of support and validity to that argument. How committed is President Obama to this issue? He's got so much in his plate, so much money that he's talking about. Is he still committed to this? I don't think there's any doubt that President Obama feels as strongly about this as any issue before him today. I believe he believes this is a key part of his legacy as President of the United States. Let's talk about a couple of very controversial issues that are already on the table and being uh, hotly debated. Number one, the whole issue of a public plan, which President Obama talked about during his campaign, a, a Medicare-like plan. Uh, as you know, the private health insurance industry is fighting this tooth and nail. They say they can't compete. Senator Grassley and many other Republicans have said that's a deal breaker, yet the hardcore people on the other side say without it we have no health care reform. What's going to happen to the public plan idea? It's extremely popular with the American people, so there's a lot of reasons to support it. The insurance companies oppose it, and whether or not we can come to some uh, compromise and some way with which to resolve this difference remains to be seen. Most Americans will say they're for health care reform, but they don't want to pay any more for their own health care, or very little more. Can you really have health care reform without increasing overall the cost for individual Americans? If we can't tell the American people that we are truly going to reduce the growth of costs in health care today, we will not have solved this problem. And the minute you say you're going to control costs or cut costs in health care, you are talking about real people with real jobs in this segment of the economy that's the only growth segment right now. How do you address that political problem? Obviously, job loss uh, could be a factor. But if we have reduced our administrative costs, if we have eliminated unnecessary care, if we've uh, eliminated a lot of the medical mistakes because we're using best practices and greater efficiency, that's a cost savings. All those cost savings is what exactly uh, the American people want to see. And Tom Daschle also has a new book on the issue called Critical, What We Can Do About the Health Care Crisis.